I'm here today with Keith Myers, one of my clients from the Gold uh, Mastermind meeting, and I think he's got a really interesting share, story to share with you today um, about his experience, and so I asked him, and he graciously agreed, so thank you for being with me, Keith. Sure. I'm so, glad to be here. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad to be here because I'm really proud of what you're doing, and I can't wait to uh, brag on you a little bit. Um, tell me about where you practice, tell me what kind of practice you have, and share it. We're in Springfield, Missouri, and I have a small practice. It's a bread and butter practice. Uh, we work three days a week, and I have one assistant, an office manager, and a hygienist. Okay, so you've been in the gold program at six months. When we ran your numbers at six months, what kind of difference did you make? What kind of increase did you see with being in there? We've had about a 30% increase in revenue okay. since we started with the program. So. What kind of things do we make? Of course, I made you bring in another doctor, and you got a whole new team, right? And I'm making you work 20 hours extra a week. No, we didn't change anything. Didn't change anything. Um, our attitude changed. Okay. And fortunately, uh, the office manager that I brought with me is uh, on board with all this and wanting to see some changes. Uh huh. And it's just us working together as a team and with some specialized instruction on how to get things done more efficiently and more patience. Okay. Well, you, and you mentioned having your team member, your office manager. Is that really critical that if you is, did this by yourself? That's critical that you have your most important team member with you. Right. Because they're going to be on your side in that. That's the person you're going to go to for reinforcement and to take that back as well as me, the dentist, taking it to the other staff. Uh -huh. Then she's also doing that as well. So makes it very important for me. Right. So I, I think that's key to your success too because you have Absolutely. that support. Absolutely. So, you know, um, what were your major frustrations? Why was this important to you to make this change? Because how many years have you been in practice? I've been in practice for 32 years. Okay. And I was at the point where I was either, I needed to get out of dentistry or I needed to change the way I was doing dentistry. Okay. And it's not the dentistry itself, but it was the business aspect of dentistry. Um, when I got out of school, yes, that's all. You put your shingle out, people came in, you didn't have, you know, if you were a relatively good dentist, you had a great group of patients that stayed loyal to you. Mm -hmm. Today it's completely different in uh, marketing and managing patients. Mm -hmm. In a practice and a team. In a practice and a team. And dental school does not prepare you no, for that, does it? I thought I did, I do great dentistry, but the business aspect is really where I am short and lacking in marketing. Mm -hmm. I, I have no clue about marketing. Mm -hmm. So going forward, what kind of things are you looking for in your career to get to that next level? What kind of? I'm looking for um, probably adding another assistant, uh, working um, maybe four days a week or at least three and a half. My ultimate goal is to really add someone to come into the mm -hmm. office uh, as far as a pr another practitioner and building that so that I can either sell that practice or me work two days a week while some, someone else is working four days a week and maintain that income as I you know, retire or semi-retire. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a great plan. You have the end in sight. We're building it now yes. for when that time comes. Yes. It's not like you're looking to leave tomorrow, but you've, you've got to have no, an idea. Yeah, because we're, you know, we're looking five, seven, ten years out. Mm -hmm. I mean, actually, if, if I could do just the dentistry part of it, I, I would practice as long as I could. Okay. I love what I do. And, but the, the other part of it, the marketing, the, you know, getting the word out there, that's... That's the frustrating part for me. And that's so what we've been that's, helping you with. And that's why we came to you, well, is to help with that. Right. And you're not someone, I think, takes, I know you're not someone who takes decisions lightly. It was not, any, it was not like, hey, I'm going to do this. You didn't jump in. You were real, dil, dil, doing your dill diligence. You asked me a lot of questions. I mean, so if someone is researching, is this a good thing for them? You went through that research process. What would you tell them? And why was this a good choice for you? For me, this was a good decision because you were offering what I needed. Um, I, I've been, I've had a management consultant before. We had the systems in place. We had our morning huddles. We were doing the meetings. 
Uh, we had, you know, as I said, all, all the things that, I, that were in place, but it just wasn't clicking. It wasn't working. And so we needed to add the marketing, Facebook, uh, promotion, mailings, things like that. We had not done any of that. And for me, that was a very difficult to step, mm -hmm. uh, step to take. But, you know, we, we've accomplished that through you and you helping to kind of prod and push me along. And, I, and that's what I needed. Right. I needed somebody to push me. Accountability. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Because right. um, you've been burned before. I have been. And so, you know, if someone's been burned before, it's hard to let over there. So there's a lot of people out there that might have been burned. So what would you recommend to them? What, you know, if someone's considering this, what do you think is worth looking into for their practice? Oh, yes, it's definitely worth looking into. And if, if they're in the same spot that I am, or that I was in, yeah, it can make all the difference in the world for them. Well, I'm very proud of you. I'm glad I get to spotlight your story. You know, but those numbers were, were phenomenal. And I mean, we didn't have to make a lot of changes to make that happen. No. Yeah, I mean, and, and you still have so much potential, and we can just keep adding steps and steps, so I, I can't wait to see where you end up. Well, and the thing I want other people to understand, too, that it is a one-step-at-a-time procedure. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when I was coming into this, yeah, you get so overwhelmed with all the things that you need to do that you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And you kind of brought that back home to me when we first started talking. I said, whoa, you take a breath. You need to stop. We need... We can only do one thing at a time here, and we'll build on that. Right. And that's what it is. It's a process of building. Right. You've done fantastic, so I'm so excited. Congratulations. You and your team, your Thank office you. manager, Jennifer, is fantastic. She so, is. So True. kudos to Jennifer. Yes. Thanks for sharing Thank you. that. Bye-bye.